Hi, welcome to a video where I, a self-obsessed Leo, thinks that you want to watch a like 15 to 20 minute video of me talking about things I like. Enjoy. Hi, hello, hot, sexy, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome to my own favorites video. Okay, I love favorites videos, first of all. I really don't have an original thought. I feel like everything that I like or just, I don't know, I just think I, it comes from others. So if you're like me, um, here are just some things that I like and I'm just gonna ramble about things. <laughs> wow, yeah, I'm eloquent, I'm eloquent. I'm. I'm almost 21. Oh my god. I'm turning 21 literally next next month. I'm also moving out next week. This is all happening so fast. Starting off with some clothes that I've been loving recently. Uh, the first one is this halter top and obviously my hair is red now. Very much serving like Wendy's, like literally Wendy right now. But I just really love this red and green combination. Not gonna lie, my tits do look really good in this halter top anyways. And um, how much longer can I talk about halter top? There we go, done. So something that's very evident in my closet is that I own a lot of statement pieces and it's really nice to be able to be funky and just cool, but it's just so hard for me sometimes to style just like an actual outfit like i feel like i have a lot of cool pieces but not a lot of like outfits if that makes sense so i thought i would go for more of like the basic uh route and kind of build up my basics because when i was doing my wardrobe i kind of just skipped that part i was like no i don't need just plain shirts what i'm just gonna get one that's super bedazzled and just call it a day but i finally picked up a white tank top and i've been wearing this so often i'm like wow i could actually wear a lot of the pants that i've just been really struggling to style lately so i have this one i just got a black one um i'm looking at a gray one too because i think gray like crop tank tops are just it's just very sexy, okay? This Studio Ghibli shirt is actually one of the first things that I ever thrifted on my own. And I don't know, there's just something about it. It lays so nicely on me. The uh, fabric is so airy. So I love wearing this as like a PJ shirt. I wear it at least every week for like multiple nights a week. Um, I don't know, there's just something about it. The sweater that I've been wearing the like shit out of lately is this one from Racer Worldwide. It has a adorable little um, teddy bear on it. And on the back it says racer and it has really distressed stitching on it and when i like got it initially i didn't really think i was gonna wear it that much since it's so light and i'm very prone to stains and just being like a dirty a dirty human <laughs> ever since i was a kid i just can't deal with really itchy fabrics or just anything like that i remember when i was like just like a, a baby and i just wanted to dress like disney princesses i really couldn't do that a lot because those dresses are so itchy i just could not deal with it i don't know i was i was really sad uh but i remember i always settled for not settled for our queen is Lilo, okay? I always dress up as her. I kind of looked like her too. But the fit is so slouchy and big, but it's not too long so I can wear things under, but it's not too short. So I can also wear it as like a sweater dress. It's so versatile. And whenever I do find like a piece like this that I like, I will wear shamelessly so many times with so many outfits or even repeat the same outfit over and over again because I feel hot. And if people are gonna mean for outfit repeating, then um, they're spending too much time looking at me. Moving on to pants, I am wearing my most worn pants of like 2020 and also 2021. I probably wear these a couple of times a week at least. Uh, I just really love the like rise. It's not too low. Um, it is like a low rise cut, but it's not too low where you think like, you know, your kitty's gonna be out. Um, I just, or like your butt, oh my God. Like, you know, when you wear like low rise jeans and like when you sit, you feel like your ass crack is like out for the world. It, it doesn't happen with these pants. So that's really nice. On the bottoms, you can just see how worn they are. If you watch my vlogs, you are very familiar with these pants right here. These are from Target and I just love the like waistband of it. I hate sweatpants or just pj pants in general that you have to tie i'm just like this is not what i want right now for like pj pants and these do the trick let me tell you i just love just throwing them on and i'm like yeah it's christmas it is june 
And actually like very recent favorite of mine has been this denim maxi skirt. And I already talked about this in my last video. If you wanna watch it, you can, it's kinda flopping. So I really would appreciate if you watched it. Um, but uh, a lot of people, do you really, really hate, hate this, this skirt? skirt? I kind of get it though. It is kind of out there, pretty ugly, but I do love ugly clothing pieces and trying to make it look more like trendy and fashionable uh, for 2021 term. It's so easy to walk in. The only thing that I don't like about it is that your girl, she gets warm down there, okay? My kitty is just like, She's like, oh my God, can you let me breathe? Something about this like specific skirt that I have right now that I think really like modernizes it and makes it a little bit less like conservative. I mean, let's be real. I feel like a lot of people that wear denim maxi skirts are like Mormon or Amish that aren't very just like out there like me that like really likes to show skin. Um, something that I guess kind of branches away from that style because it's just not really what I like to wear is the rise. It's more mid to low rise so you can kind of see my belly button or tummy if I like pull it down. Also has so many pockets. Could I ask for more? I really couldn't. Oh, okay, uh, another recent favorite of mine has been this red romper. And I've always been a huge fan of rompers because I just like pulling them up and just calling it an outfit. But you also don't have to like be scared all the time that your like dress is going to, you know, like flip up for some reason or just like some creep is gonna record you from under it. I love being a woman in society. I guess the only kind of downside of rompers is that when you go to the bathroom, you literally have to be naked. I like this romper specifically because it does look like a dress, like it flows like a dress, but bam, it's a romper. I love whenever people are like, oh, I like your dress. Like if someone just comes up to me and they're like, oh, I like your dress. Like they're just being just like nice, kind people. And I'm like, bam, it's a romper. And then they get like kind of uncomfortable, but I just think it's funny. The only thing is that it's from Urban Outfitters. So you know, it costs an arm and a leg. Uh, I rarely, rarely ever buy things from Urban Outfitters full price. I've been eyeing this for like a month, I think, or a couple of months and Every single time I see it, I just like stop and stare and admire. And I just thought I would just, just try it on in the dressing room. I was like, I'm gonna try it on in the dressing room. I'm not gonna like it. I can save money. It'll be good. I don't have to keep looking at it and be like sad that I can't get it. And then I tried it on and I loved it. And then I was like, it'll be good for the economy. It's here with me now. I think I have a floofy in my eyelash. Oh my god, this is remind me of the time uh, in high school. I used to wear like falsies like every single day, like how I do now. And I was like, oh, my eyelash feels kind of heavy. Like, I don't know, I'm just gonna pick it up. Literally, it was a cockroach. When I tell you I almost threw up, I almost, I really almost did. I was literally just like in school. I think I was just like at lunch. Or I, I don't know if it was a cockroach or like a beetle. It was some sort of large insect. And I was like, oh my god. I don't think any of you will be surprised for when I pull out my favorite shoes. Dun dun. Oh my God, that kind of scared me. I just watched Hereditary again yesterday, so I probably shouldn't have made that noise. Uh, but here are my knockoff Buffalo shoes. Uh, I just didn't want to buy the real ones and I found these ones and I was like, they look kind of like the real ones. I don't really care about name brands at all. I just wanted a big chunker of like a platform on just sneakers. They definitely been through, they've, they've seen some shit, okay? But I love them nonetheless. Again, they match with every, every outfit that I like conjure up my little brain. Okay, so that's it for my clothing. I'm going to go into accessor accessories accessories now. I'm just going to collectively say that jewelry has been one of my ultimate favorites lately. I will not leave unless I'm wearing at least my earrings and like five, six rings. But my favorite, favorite of the bunch is this ring from Etsy. It says my name, Jazzy. I did initially want it to be Jasmine because I do love my birth name. Yes, my actual name is Jasmine. I think a lot of people get confused with that sometimes. Ever since dyeing my hair, I don't wash it as often as I used to because now it's like red and I don't want to like wash the dye out and just like stain my bathtub even more than it is. So um, I do wear a lot of hats now to kind of not show the world my oily scalp. Uh, also my roots definitely, <laughs> 
they're definitely present. I have been finding myself throwing a trucker hat on. I mean, not like this, but she's cute. Do y'all remember Ipsy? I was, oh my God, Michelle Phan was my girl, okay? She was like the first Vietnamese representation on YouTube that I ever watched. So when she launched Ipsy, I was like, yes, take my money. I'm literally like 11 years old. I don't actually have money. But one of the things that I love the most about Ipsy were the makeup bags. This is one that I've kept for years and years and years, but I actually use it as my wallet. The reason why it's kind of making it into this favorites video is that it's a favorite of mine that I have a big ass wallet because I love carrying way too much stuff with me. So I thought I would just combine my wallet and my beauty bag into one, into this little pouch. So I obviously, yeah, have wallet things in here, but I also have literally two lip glosses that I use every single day. I also have an extra tube of eyelash glue because I wear eyelashes daily and it's the scariest thing ever from when like, I don't know, sometimes like I'm crying, <laughs> like something like that and my eyelash falls off and I'm like literally just like one eyelash gone and it just looks really wonky so I could just easily glue it back on if I need to. I also have oil blotting sheets because girl, she gets oily sometimes, okay? And it's just not a good look on me. I also have just like an extra pad in here, just in case, just in case I need it. I had room for it, so I was like, let me just stuff this huge ass pad in there. I also have my Vax card. It's just nice having everything in one and it's not too heavy or bulky. Speaking of bags, I love this one. You guys know this already. Um, it's handmade by this Depop seller that is so kind and obviously her work is absolutely gorgeous. I love the coloring in it. It's very like earth toned and I just like how it slouches and the way that it like it hits on my like hips. It's like the perfect length because she actually like customizes like the length of the strap that you want. <laughs> Another purse that I love is this Betty Boo one. And again, I love the like the strap <laughs> length right here. It doesn't like get in like your armpit and like feel kind of gross. I absolutely adore Betty Boop and I just love like carrying her around with me. This one again has a metal clasp and it also has like three separate big pockets and one of them is enclosed by a zipper. Moving on to makeup, my first favorite is this Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion SPF 50. I specifically love this one from like the Super Goop brand the most because the unseen sunscreen i don't know to me it smells kind of weird yeah it does have like a little bit of like a sweet smell like not like vanilla but it's kind of like sweet like a fruit also my boyfriend just like hated putting on sunscreen before um until i got him on to super goop and now whenever i tell him i like force him to put on sunscreen he doesn't like hate me as much for it it's also reef safe which is really really important too so i talked before how i have been wearing eyelashes for many many years now and i have gone through my fair share of lash glues i finally got into the house of lashes glue and I specifically love the clear one because I like when it's clear so you can tell when it gets tacky and you can just apply it on but for some reason it's been sold out only have the dark kind all right the last thing of like fashion and beauty segment of this video is this uh dry shampoo volumizing as well and uh i have very flat hair so i like literally had to like bunch it up so much up here to kind of have like a little bit of volume um so it's just really nice to just like put this in my hair and also see my hair like floof up a little bit i cannot live without my big clippy right here i whenever i wake up First thing I do, put my hair in a big clippy. I love you. I have this in so many different colors as well. All right, so now moving on to entertainment, which is the part that I'm so excited to talk about in this video. Um, the first thing I'm gonna be talking about are shows that I've been loving. The first show that I'm going to mention is my favorite anime, and it's with my favorite little boys, Haikyuu. I kind of came in skeptical when I first started watching it because I was like, how am I going to like an anime that is like dealing with volleyball. Like I just, I don't know. I was like, I'm not a huge sports person. It makes me feel motivated in doing something that I love and putting 110% into it, even if people don't believe in you and you know, think that you're down for wanting to pursue a dream. Because I guess I kind of relate to that with like YouTube. Like I started YouTube when I was 13, you know, prime bullying days and also the kids 
They're so cute. They're so cute. I just want to hug all of them. But the boy that takes my heart is Aikawa. I literally have like a poster of him. I also have a sticker of him on my laptop. I also tell Martin all the time that if somehow Aikawa became like a real human, I would definitely leave him for Aikawa. And he's okay with that. <laughs> He's okay with that. I've been watching a lot of K-dramas recently and my absolute favorite has been Startup. It's on Netflix and obviously it is about a startup, but it's not like completely about that. It has a love triangle, which I am a huge sucker for. Everyone in the cast is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Again, I feel like the story is so engaging and like you're rooting for the character sometimes and you're also like, girl, you shouldn't have done that. I just love, I think, flawed characters. Um, I just like when they're not too like cookie cutter perfect. Uh, all I have to say is that Mr. Han, he could rail me. He could do that. I cried and I laughed and I usually don't like shows or movies that make me cry because I just like love feeling good. Um, but with this, it was like a very justified cry and I just kept wanting more. Um, I've already watched this K-drama twice. I've also watched Haikyuu three times. Me repeating things does not stop after like outfits. I feel like I embrace like things that I love. I'm not afraid to indulge in things that I find enjoyable. So if I like a show, if I like a clothing piece, like I will wear the fuck out of it. Like I will just keep wanting to feel that feeling. Some people think it's weird. I know a lot of people are like, girl, you already watched that anime like four times already. And I'm like, yeah, what about it? A couple of American TV shows that I love are Criminal Minds and The Office. Criminal Minds is such like, like I, you wouldn't think that I would like it. Honestly, I was really surprised that I like it. But I think like the biggest thing about Criminal Minds that I like is not like the gore and just like the crimes and stuff. Cause sometimes it can get really intense, but literally I will be like falling asleep to people getting murdered. <laughs> on tv obviously or like literally eating dinner and I'm like someone's literally getting their head chopped off but i'm like so desensitized to it somehow which is something that i shouldn't be flexing but here i am and i feel like i don't really have to like say anything about the office it's so funny to me it's definitely my humor like i love dry humor moving on to books uh i talked about this in a recent vlog but my favorite books have been from the kiss quotient series the first book is about a girl with autism who's like 30 years old she's very very smart she has a high well paying job uh but her parents really want her to like explore her relationships and like have like a grand baby for her, I guess. So then she's like, fuck, like, I don't know how to do, like, I don't enjoy sex. Like, I don't know how to do it. Like, I want to please the man, like, blah, blah. So in attempt to help navigate her through like the world of sex and just like relationships and stuff, she hires this escort who is half Vietnamese, which is really cool because I love reading about like Vietnamese stuff in this book. You know, it's no surprise. They decide that they actually have feelings for each other and it just like, they go through their ups and downs this is one of the first books that i've read in a, like a couple of years and i read this in like six hours so <laughs> i was completely hooked and glued the bride test goes with the escort's cousin um who's also has autism he's also pressured by his mother to like just have a relationship because he's like i don't think he's ever had one before so then she goes to vietnam and tries to find a woman that's like suitable for her son and like kind of like forces a relationship between the two but then they like kind of sort out their differences and it kind of just all pans out in this book it's just so cool to see vietnamese representation and just like any sort of media like i knew i needed it and then once i like experienced it i was like wow this is amazing i've also been listening to a lot of boy bands recently i don't know why something in me was like i want to listen to boy bands and i want to listen to them now i just made a spotify playlist and it consists of obviously a lot of one direction um but it also includes like 90s and 2000s boy bands and it's just so nostalgic and just like Pump, pump. Particularly Glad You Came by The Wanted has been one of my favorites. I have no idea why. I think it's because of like the lyrics, like the 
Turn the lights down now. Now I'll take you by the hand. Hand you. Like, you know how, like, it, it starts and ends with, like, the same word? I just think that's literally, like, lyrical genius. I've also been listening to a lot of old Taylor Swift, but especially her old music is definitely resonating with me right now, especially the song Mean. And I can definitely uh, relate to that from like other people being mean to me and like not believing in me and just me being like what the fuck like i'm just gonna do what i want to do and i'm going to kill it and i you can watch me from the sidelines i guess um uh, but i think i resonate to this song the most um from like the perspective of like kind of like my inner voice i, I don't know i'm definitely still like working on my confidence like a lot but you know, like there's always that part inside of me that's like, you can't do it. And also reminds me of this bitch in high school. Ooh, I love me some Rex Orange County. Okay, I actually have like his pony record. Obviously his music, brilliant, brilliant. But his personality and just like him in real life is like so like, awkward but in like the best way possible like i love his interviews like i love his tiny desk concert he would just like belt his amazing song and like play the guitar like flawlessly and then after he's done with the song he'll be like hey guys like welcome to my concert it's just i just think it's so cute and it's just like it's very admirable to kind of see him more so like express himself like you can see he's just more confident in himself like while making music and singing and it's just like really beautiful i guess to see moving on to food i've been enjoying just like finding new like small businesses to try out or just like different kinds of food in general my new favorite ramen place is called silver lake ramen you know when you look at like anime food and you're like wow i really wonder what that tastes like because they make it look so good i felt that way as silver lake ramen so when my friends like lynn and dustin came to visit me i knew i had to take them to silver lake ramen and they also really liked it two small businesses that i have I've been loving one is in orange county and it's called green tomato girl it's so yummy i get the chimichurri bowl and wow it is like it's what chipotle thinks it is the other small business is in san diego and it's called senior mangoes and they have the best acai bowls that you will ever have in your entire life my favorite fruit are mangoes and they have acai bowls with literally the freshest mangoes okay last miscellaneous things that i've just been loving um one of them is like a little picnic blankie that i keep in my car at all times this is probably one of my best best choices in life that i've made because i love just kind of having like spontaneous picnic so i just love just having like a blinky in my car at all times and just pulling it out and living that main character life another thing i love like every other young adult slash teenager are disposable film cameras um i love just like kind of how easy they are and i guess another thing part of like the film stuff is that on instagram i have been loving to do photo dumps i guess it kind of relates to like the make instagram casual again but i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i definitely seek out taking aesthetic photos of my day like it's just like my my day isn't as glamorous and pretty as what i present on instagram but nevertheless i do love doing photo dumps because i think it's just like a little bit more personal and unless like i don't know just like my face all the time on my instagram because it kind of gets old <sighs> okay uh i hope this video wasn't too long i've literally been talking for two hours straight but i hope you enjoyed listening to my favorites if you relate or you don't relate if you have any other like shows or movies you recommend or just like anything in general please let me know i really appreciate that i hope you enjoyed this video i love you so much stay safe and i'll see you next time bye settling in settling down